Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to episode 6 of my Frostpunk The Last Autumn series. Now previously, we passed laws enabling overseers and the much controversial security outposts, but it seems to have done the trick as it's raised and boosted our workers' efficiency, allowing us for the first time to actually pull ahead of schedule and complete the second stage of the generator on time. Now we look to build the heart of the generator itself, all the while trying to keep our people's motivation up, which has been a huge struggle. So I thought really quickly we could just do another bit of a recap here at the beginning of the episode to see where we left off. Of course, on the Frostland itself, we've got one party heading towards the train station, and another party that's set up at the Herd of Reindeer as an outpost, delivering food back regularly every day for the next seven days uh, in bulk bulk amounts of 80 raw food so we seem fine for food we also have our two fishing stations set up fishing harbors whatever uh, set up so we're good for food we're good for a lot of our resources I think over in the bottom left our two objectives currently are class segregation of course we passed this law recently to separate out our engineers away from the filth of the commoner <laughs> many of you of course who submitted names are the engineers of which we have 39 now more of you have since gone on to submit more names since I've mentioned this. But we haven't had any new engineers arrive, so you're on the reserve list if you're not in the game. I could add you to the workers list, but there's 200 of them and you'd probably never see it. You know, there's just too many. But every time we look at an engineer, every one of these people is someone who commented that they wanted to see their name in the game. So you are there. So in terms of completing class segregation, we got to build two extra houses. I think we're going to build them here, nice, nice and snug between the chapel and the bathhouse. Um, but I'm going to wait till tonight until we do it. So it's currently day 25. It's 10:30 a.m. We've just started work on the first support frame. So there's two support frames that we have to build. Each one costs 25 structural profiles. So while we're working on this. We need to produce 25 structural profiles. Now we already have 17, and we have the structural profiles manufacturer here, uh, of which we can actually just queue up one right now. It costs 20 wood for each one, so I'm just gonna leave that. I guess we can do two. Leave it going in the background there. How much extra workers do we have right now? So I just wanna check in. Of course, we're battling against the strike chance all the time. Seems fine. Health is fine, or safety, I should say, is fine. But what's obviously a big problem right now is motivation. Motivation has collapsed below the 30% threshold, meaning we're going to take a negative 30% um, efficiency hit. So when you hover over this, it says base efficiency, blah, 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 blah. And then it says, uh, it actually only says minus three due to low motivation. That can't be right. It's, it'll correct itself, I'm sure, when I let time play. It's definitely minus 30. It was at the end of the last episode. Yeah, but we'll see what happens as we let time play anyway. So this is a huge problem, right? That's a huge debuff. Um, yeah, see, so there's current effect on efficiency, negative 30%. So we have another use of the security outpost. I don't really... It gives you a strike risk chance, and the fact that we're at strike risk 1 makes me kind of be like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what if, if I want to go up to strike level 2 or just take the 30% and let them deal with it. When the laws cool down in 5, 6 hours, people mentioned in the comments I should pass reparation of bodies which means that should anyone die, they get sent back to England, but we have to build a morgue. Yeah, so we'll lay our dead to rest in English soil. Their bodies will be kept in the morgue until they can be transported. Apparently passing this law gives you a little boost to motivation straight away. Generally, things that are like good things like this are. Another one might, I actually don't know. Oh, it actually says it right there. Motivation will rise slightly. Sustaining life. Now, we haven't had any gravely ill or any amputees or any deaths yet. Touch wood, right? <laughs> um, but, you know, maybe it's peace of mind for our workers there to know that should they get sick, they won't just be operated on like savages, or we won't operate them on like dogs or something. Uh, but instead, we'll take care of our own, and should the worst come to, to light, we'll send them back home to England. Um, so, you know, it's peace of mind. Anyway, with all that taken care of. Let's just see. We, I'm low on wood, so the other thing I want to get is people on this. We're currently researching finer mesh for increased food from these places, and I think this is going to be a big priority of me in the tech tree, is to get to difference engine as quick as I can, so that we can start getting advanced fishing harbor. Because... I mean, it's a spoiler, but everybody probably is aware. Eventually, this this water is going to freeze, and we won't be... And actually, I genuinely don't know exactly when that is. We get our first temperature drop in a couple of days. I imagine it's in, like, six or seven days or something like that. 
So you kind of want to pull in as much food as you can, right? So I feel like we should skip ahead and get down to that next level of technology just to give them the advanced fishing harbors, rake in as much fish as we can before they all die, and then um, hopefully store it all up for the future. I'm sure we'll learn more about it as we get closer to it. All right, um, that's the situation. I hope I haven't left anything by the by. I don't think so. We've currently got one steam core as well. And we've got two coming in via a ship from England. And we've got 80 food on the way. I think we're good to go. I'm just going to be taking things kind of slow and very careful because I'm nervous. I'm nervous as all hell. Yeah, I'm not going to activate this. I'm making that decision now. I don't want an increased strike risk. I'd rather they work at 30% less efficiency than not work at all. And hopefully if we pass some laws, we can just bring this up and activate the chapel maybe tonight. Maybe we can bring it up. I think as well what I want to do tonight is build a second church. I was having a look and it seems like, you know, we've got coverage there. We've got coverage there. We could definitely get coverage here. And then who knows, we might end up getting some more people later on. Uh, of course, as well, in the last episode, we built ourselves a lovely infirmary, taking care of people nice and fast. We've only got eight sick people, not bad, considering we have 238 in total. So, taking care of them, let, you know, seven to 12 hours before they're all out. So, hopefully, we can just stay on top of that. Considering it's not even the halfway point of the day, that means they'll all be cured by the time the evening rolls around and more sick people fill it up. What is this? News from London, Site 120. Site 120, great work on laying down the generator's foundations. You're making good time. Down here, bad weather and crop failures prompted an exodus to the colonies. Those who stay... Those who stay... Place? Sorry, those who stay place their hopes in the government's newly unveiled evacuation plan. Our company was accused of profiteering by opposition... Uh, opposing politicians. Pure slander, of course. <laughs> Unfortunately, we lost co uh, contact with Site-120. We're attaching its coordinates and would appreciate if you would se send and spare a few men to check up on them. We'll do our best. Oh, I'm struggling to read. Um, just before I went to record this episode, Frostpunk 2 got announced. Much to my excitement, happiness, joy. I'm very delighted to see that 11-bit studios are sticking with this. It's kind of like a double-edged sword in some ways. I really loved this war of mine and I really love this game and I'm like... Yeah, keep doing new things. It's cool. But in other ways, I'm like, this is a pretty cool world. Like, I want you to kind of stick around and do more with it. And apparently it's set 30 years after the Great Frost and the big storm hits. And it's all about a competition for oil. Um, don't really know much more than that. So I, I very much look forward to seeing more from that. And you know I'll be all over it uh, when they give more details, basically. All right, so um, I've also been, in between episodes, kind of looking at like things a bit more. I realized that if you hover over the efficiency, it actually tells you exactly why the efficiency is the way it is. I don't think I ever really properly looked at that before. But we can see that there's 10 people absent right now from this building. And that's why the efficiency is so low. And it's because they're eating, going to eat, or in treatment. So it's just kind of nice that it actually shows you that. Um, and we have 11 workers free, so that's fair enough. They're free, but obviously some of them will be the ones that are sick. Although it's a bit strange having so many of these ones being the one that are in treatment. That's alright. Alright, time is moving. We'll just keep... Basically, I don't want to overdo this and queue up too many. We've got very low amount of wood right now. And what I'd like to do is leave some wood so we have enough to build the houses tonight. Obviously, we need extra wood and we need... Um, I want to build a chapel and stuff, so we have to keep some steel by the by. Alright, we'll speed it up to times two. Hello. Security outpost, off with the gloves. Sir, a group of senior overseers is here to talk to you about dealing with worker protests. Quote, lives depend on us finishing the generator on time, yet the workers keep striking. Why are you putting up with this? We have the guns, just give us an order. And we'll put a swift end to all this tomfoolery. No, leave it. Chill out, right? Just calm down. What was it? We'd have to pass strike busting. We can do that in our own time. Adding it here does create an objective, and if we do that objective, we do get motivations. It's tempting to do these things, but at the same time, only two days to pass the law I don't think is enough, because i got to pass another one straight away. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I mean, it's going to... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Leave it. I'll think about it. <laughs> get together, people. Today, together, we're strong, says Gladys Robinson. Ah, oh, you bastards, they're after striking. On one risk as well. Fuck it, we should have just enabled that anyway then. Um, negotiate. I'm just gonna give them the food they need. 
Appease them with double rations. 40 food, that's fine, we've got plenty of food for a while. Just, just get to work, keep working. They're working into the evening. These ones are working, they're off at four. <laughs> uh, maybe we could change that. Work all day. Seeing as we had a strike in one place, what's the chance of having it another? All right, the train station. It's a small railway station, which looks ridiculous beside the enormously wide tracks with huge rails that stretch north from here. What kind of gigantic trains run on them? That is interesting. If we're all the way up in that really far northern territory, I'm surprised there's any infrastructure here. But maybe uh, the French were up here building it ahead of time. I don't know. We find it. Oh, it is actually. <laughs> we find an old French station master who tells us that all the Crevenige departures are on hold until further notice. That's what a Crevenige is. He laughs like we told him a good joke. If we were misunderstood, French is not our strength after all, but we feel like someone was messing with us. I see plateau, Crevenige. It's not funny. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know what that means. Crevenige, and then I see plateau. Let's go there, there, and then there. Nine hours. Also, a lot of people have mentioned that if you go to places you've previously been, you get there way quicker. So, thanks for the tip on that. I'll try to do that in the future. Security outpost arson plot, sir. The head overseer is here to report on the discovery of an arson plot. My people found bottles of benzol hidden in workers' quarters. We arrested the suspects who confessed to plotting an assault on overseers. However, we don't have a secure place to lock them up. What, what do you want us to do? Release them, kill them, or build a prison. Strike risk will rise for two days. Five workers will die. You'll have to, you'll have two days to pass penal colony. Now it's a good thing I waited on the other one because I think I'm gonna go with this. Yeah, we'll build a prison. I don't want to kill them on sight. That's not good for motivation, I wouldn't imagine. But it said it would lower it. Actually, well, the first option said it would lower it. What kind of progress have we made here? 8%? Not good. How much time till the law? Two hours. So we'll give them the boost. Hopefully when we pass that law. Alright, we're very low on wood. Very low indeed. Do we have anyone free that could work on it a bit more? I have told more people to get on that. You know what? Just get off and get back on. Maybe it'll... Yeah, it did actually. It actually boosted it. Refreshed the people who are sick. Finer mesh has been researched. Oh, you know what? I'm actually probably going to need that wood back in a second. I want to go with a steam reloading station because we got a good amount of cores coming in. And then we can pull that wood in faster. And iron. It's going to require 40 wood from the beginning, so we'll have to just say, unfortunately, it's a big inefficiency, but it has to be done. I'll have to cancel that. I'd rather tech just keeps going. All right. Oh, they're not even working now. What else could I do for wood? Nothing really. I just got to wait till it comes up. As soon as we get to 20, we're on... 19, 20, okay, cool. Let's get it. Right, new law, let's go. Administration, reparation of bodies. We'll lay our dead to rest in English soil. Yes. New rules are in place. All right, these guys have their shift till 6 p.m. tonight. Get to work. I'm glad to hear that even the dead won't be left forever in this hellhole, says Leslie Cook. Whatever happens, my family will now at least get to say their last farewell. I just got chills. It's quite sad. Ah, we're cranking out the profile so fast I can barely... We need 25, by the way. We've got 22, and work is over for today. Alrighty. So let's cancel that. We get the wood back, and that's not that much. I would have liked to get a bit more, because now... I don't think we've got enough for two houses. Jeez, we don't even have enough for one. We'll have to do it tomorrow. How much time do we have on the class segregation? Oh, I've got loads of time on that one. So that's okay then. Uh, what else could we do? What about the church? Damn, 30 wood as well. It's not good enough. Didn't get quite as much as I would have hoped, I suppose. 
Um, so we have a sawmill over here doing its thing, and then we have two... Ah, this we should have built a reloading station here as well, actually. Yeah. We could do that tonight, though. We're getting those steam cores in. So we'll get a reloading station here, and we'll get a reloading station on the other side. Steel is more important, though, to get, I think, because we're going to need them for the steel composites. And I think it said that they actually requires coal as well to make them, but I'm not sure how much. All right, we got our two extra cores in. So one for the foundry and another for a steam reloading thing. All right, it's the evening. Uh, we can't pass the chapel service thing tonight, so we'll have to wait just a few more hours. All right, we just hit the icy plateau. The rails are covered with ice, sometimes disappearing under it. We follow them until they're no longer visible. After the track disappeared under the ice, we followed its general direction for a couple of miles, seeing nothing on the horizon, then backtracked and fanned out, trying to find a place where the track comes back up. It seems that it doesn't. Where did the track lead? We might never know. Hmm. We lost the track. All right. Let's keep going. Uh, we actually have to build the morgue. Maybe I'll do that tonight. Oh, that's already built. Wow, that was pretty quick. So how much is the morgue going to take? Ten wood. All right, we'll do all these in the morning. Just short on wood. Not a big deal. We'll get it all. I'm going to build another um, sawmill over here as well. And I'm sure once the reloading stations are in place... Look at this. Nobody's sick, actually, right now. It's quite nice. As anticipated. Uh, we can reduce the amount of engineers in here and put them back into the uh, factory inspectorate. Take one of them off there, put them onto the security outpost, actually. Nice. All right, let's let time speed, speed up. A few sick people tonight, nothing crazy. Let's see who it is. Edward Mullins and Natalie Schoen, both workers. Not a big concern. Introduce the penal colony law. That'll have to probably have to come next. Send foragers out to find out what happened to Site 120. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're behind schedule now. Of course, we did take a battering with the uh, efficiency drawback. Come on, motivation. Don't dip too low. It's kind of battling itself. It's coming up and coming down a little bit. Probably to do with the um, coverage from various houses. All right. Evening service is activated. Keeping motivation relatively... Well... Not high, but above the uh, minimum threshold I worry about. Alright, we're alright. Oh, nice. An enormously huge locomotive lies on its side. It's a view of both majestic and it's pathetic. The engine is unbelievably huge, like a beached ship. It has overturned when the ground gave way under its massive weight and the tracks buckled. There's an inscription on its main boiler, Crevenige number 12. Surely the French have a taste for dimensions. Pity that the land has let them down. Now we can only salvage the resources from this magnificent machine. So two cores. Awesome. And five steel composites. It's a nice bit of a kick, uh, kick start to the progress. We're gonna, I'm going to go to the trapper's cabin. I didn't actually see how long is that going to take. 11 hours. 12 hours. Okay. And then we'll head back. We don't need that immediately. It's good stuff though. Gas is ticking up. Work safety. Let's just check in on that work safety. It's hazardous. That's not good. We're dangerous even. They're not working for another hour. So the other buildings aren't fully on yet. So the ventilation plan's off. The factory inspector will bring it up one level. So that's good. We can put them on the short shift just for now. See if we need to change it later. Alright. Hope everyone's following along. One person not doing anything. Three people sick. That's pretty good. Three is quite low. You know. Happy with that. This place is open and has people assigned to it. Um, don't need to do that. Let's just turn it off for now. And let's get... Yeah, we can't build anything. We just have to wait for more wood. Alright, we have ten wood. Let's get them to... Well, we can hold off on that. I'm going to get the second sawmill up and running just straight away. Okay. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything crazy. How's this doing? 28% progress at the moment. It's unhealthy, but not that bad. One strike chance. Good. Efficiency, 93%. Two people are in treatment. I'm just going to 
reset that, see if that fixes anything. No. Some people are going to build. It's annoying. Wish you could just say, like, give me a priority on this building for everyone who's not sick and not on another job. Just go here, you know? I shouldn't have done that. They went from 90 down to 70 as they walk away to go build a sawmill. All right, another law can be passed. The penal colony law. Let's do it. To maintain the necessary level of efficiency, convicts can be used as involuntary workforce. New building penal colony, new social class convicts. Convicts provide cheap labor. Convicts work only when supervised by company guard. You'll have to build one. Give me that motivation. There we go. Leasing convicts with proper infrastructure to house the convicts in place, we can now request them to be shipped from the homeland and put them to work. Convicts are cheaper to maintain than workers and, for obvious reasons, much less prone to striking. Hmm. Hmm. Bringing in criminals, we must be desperate. Or he must be desperate. Oh, that's Kyra. That's an engineer. Uh, what if the convicts mutiny? We need better security. Yeah, that is a concern. We've, we've only got five, right? I don't even know. I think we have to build a building and then we'll find out. Five of them were going to be shot anyway, so I assume it's five. All right, they're back to 100% efficiency here. 44%, they're flying. Flying ahead. Love to see it. Wood is absolutely through the roof now as well, which is great to see. So yeah, so we'll leave our building till tonight. Don't need to do any building unnecessarily. Um, might as well turn this on with the remaining people that we have. Get them in there. Get these guys off work, off uh, food. We've got maxed out food. And queue up a few of these orders. We need three. And then tonight, we'll save up as much resource as we can, build the extra engineer households, build a chapel, um, and build a morgue. And the penal colony. A lot of building needs to be done tonight. As long as this is okay, we should be fine. We're ahead of schedule again. Four hours ahead. Love to see it. Letters from home. Suspicious mind. Sir, we've noticed that one of the engineers is sending very long letters to, quote, Aunt Bertha almost every day. They regard family and religious matters and seem innocuous, but the German-sounding name of this aunt raised our suspicions. We found out that by rearranging certain letters, we can form sentences such as shaft rotor or iron coupler. We also found flu rhino and cackle grand, but this just might be code. What should we do about this engineer? Stop being paranoid. Uh, this is fine. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Doesn't matter. What about the Germans? <laughs> I don't really care. As long as people just keep working, I'm fine. When's the next food coming in? Steam reloading has been researched. Excellent. So that's that's t basically steam a reloading station. In you know um. So basically, the docks provides a pile of goods outside of it, yeah? And then we upgraded the docks, so now they provide two piles. And you can upgrade it again to provide three. We have two. And then you can build a reloading station and assign people to it to load the goods faster. A steam reloading station is basically an upgrade of the current one. Each one costs one steam core. Uh, the upgraded version costs two. So hopefully that's explained relatively well enough about what that's all about. Now the next thing obviously then will be a foundry and then we want to get innovative process. If it's anything like um, optimized materials, was it? It'll make the cost of making steam composites cheaper because it looks the same anyway. I don't know why they don't just let you see what everything is before you get it, but they don't. Um, but I think, like I said, we should go for the advanced fishing harbor and then switch gears back to the foundry. I think so. so. We'll see how we're doing after we get difference engine. 125 wood? Are you mad? Well, maybe we'll have to wait. No, no, no. We could just reduce this down by one. Wait like a couple seconds. And that should be enough now. So it's a bit of a bold move moving down to difference engine, I think. 75 steel as well. It's expensive. Expensive move. Hopefully I've not destroyed us by doing this. I'm trying to go ahead. And then uh, they're going to need another order, but we have to wait for more wood to come in again. 
They just need one more, that's all. There they go. And that's it. Now we save all the wood we have. It's 4 p.m. I'm still gonna be working on gathering wood for a couple hours. And I think we just need two more houses. So how many how much wood was that? Seventy. Damn. Don't know if we're gonna get seventy. Maybe. Pretty close. Fifty-six. Shit. Damn, so close. Alright, we just reached uh, the trapper's cabin. A cast iron stove stands beside a desk and a sturdy chair. Two books lie on the desk, quote, on the origin of species by means of natural selection or the preservation of favored races in the struggle for life by Charles Darwin and Voyage au Centre de la Terre, a novel by Jules Verne. There's also a crate of canned food here. These are good books. We'll read them someday, but for now, let's take the food. We'll also burn them, yeah, keep warm. <laughs> Is that it? We do have a place out here. I'm gonna come back though. We're after getting food, composites, and, and motors. We'll come back. Or sorry, steam cores. 15 hours to get back and then we'll head out to uh, the site 120. It's nice to see all these objectives because it means that maybe it'll raise our motivation if we get them done. A bit worried about this one though. One day in three hours. Okay, now we could probably get it done. So let's let's get building then. Well, either two of them, or should we do something else? Let's do the morgue. That'll raise motivation immediately. I, was, I just decided I was going to put it here. It seems to fit pretty well. Don't know if it really matters where you place it. Um, so that's the morgue. We have enough to build another engineer lodging. No, I'll go with the um. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is get rid of this. Oh no, actually. Sorry that I'm jumping around so much. I'm just thinking on the fly. Penal colony. There she is. How big is this bad boy? Now, didn't it say it needs to be in range of a security outpost or something? Seems like you can build it elsewhere, but it said something about... Let's just read what it said, just so I have the correct information. Convicts will only work when supervised by company guard. Now, I don't know if that means security outpost, or if that means you assign engineers to it, but I guess... Let's just put it in within their range anyway. There's room at the back here. So we'll get these two things built. That should... finish off two objectives, and then we'll have to do class segregation, so we'll need 70 wood. So as soon as we get 70 wood, we've got to build it during the day, because... Uh, the timer is going to run out otherwise. It's got one day left. Oh, maybe not. I mean, yeah, it'd be cutting it fine. It could do it at the end of the workday, but it'd be cutting it fine. Uh, the morgue has been built. Now we can preserve our dead before we send them to London. Motivation rises. Yes. Give me those chunks of motivation. And there it is. Nobody in there yet? Happy to say that. <laughs> Let's say not, not, not... Don't even say yet. Just nobody in there and hopefully never. And then we're building the penal colony at the back to put those... What were they trying to do? Arson plot. They had benzol or something that they're going to try and kill overseers with. Yeah. That's no good. Can't be having that. That was a lot smaller amount of motivation, but still came up. Let's do photo mode and let's just check it out. It just looks like it shanty building, I guess. I mean, I suppose that's kind of what it's supposed to be. It's almost a crime having it right across from the engineers. you think they'd be quite worried about that. I think that engineer building is so cool. You can see, like, the little clock face on it. Although it actually looks like a temperature gauge. It's not a clock. Does it go to 360? Maybe it's a compass. It looks like it's almost a compass. Oh, they're actually different buildings as well. This one has one on the side, and this one has one on the back. Anyways, that's kind of cool. I like to soak in the atmosphere every now and then. Else, what's the point? So how are these wood piles doing? 141, 253. Only five people working this, and these two are, like, full all the time. So that's pretty good, I guess. We're ahead of schedule still. Less than an hour. Obviously, during the night, we're not working on the generator, so that kind of falls behind. We have enough, though, to get the next support frame started. Should we wish. 
Bonk. Just clunk it into place there. I'll just turn this off, though. We'll get to that later. We have to have this done by what? Day 35, is it? Yeah. All right. I think we're handling it. I think we are handling it. Oh, you know what? Hey, we have convicts now. Let's get them to work the cookhouse. That kind of makes sense, right? Convicts. And there is five, so I was correct with that. It doesn't say that they're less efficient or anything. And considering they're not that far from there, they're in within range of this. Hopefully that's all, all above board. Hey? There are enough overseers and security outposts. No riots will erupt. Love to see it. Convicts. Convicts are a cheap and obedient workforce. Plants that employ convicts are much less likely to strike. You can order transports of convicts through the telegraph station after you build a penal colony. All penal colonies and workplaces employing convicts have to be guarded by security outposts. That's totally fine. Each penal colony must be built in range of security outposts in order to work. Okay, I did that right. And the same with where they work. Perfect. Totally just worked out that way. <laughs> Pure skill. I love this game. This music is got so goddamn cool. So you're off that building, yeah? You're off that. That's off. Good. So it's just people on this now, some free workforce. Everyone's pulling in all the wood they can. There's still steel out here, by the way, on its own reloading station, which we can dismantle and get the core back uh, later, because this is going to be just a docks. So we're going difference engine 30%. Long time as well. Slow tech. Ah, not back. It's killing me. Need to straighten up. Check those. Po check that posture. Oh shit! I just realized temperature will drop a level tomorrow. I don't know if people are going to start freaking out or not about it. Uh, do we have enough to build that church? Actually, we do. I want to build it here, but it means that we have to... Oh, yeah, we have a penal colony, which means there's five people now that are going to be in that building, right? So we can get rid of this. And we still have enough housing. Perfect. So, yeah, let them dismantle this, and then we'll build a uh, church. Because that's their, like, living quarters now, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Their names have been given numbers. That's so cool. Such a cool touch. Damn. That's so cool. And it is correct. It's like G113001234. Hm. Nice. Alrighty. Get that chapel down. Should have a face in the right way. Yeah. And now hopefully that'll just keep... Oh my god, look at that. I was going to say, just keep motivation up. If we got to build earlier, maybe we wouldn't have... Oh my god, it's dropping so far! Why? Oh, we might have to enable this thing again. Raising security risk chance there, or a strike chance. I think I'll have to do it, though. We'll just wait, though, and see what happens. God, I hate this stupid snow. How are we to survive this weather? Sleeping in tents. The first snow. I love that image. On this morning, the camp wakes up to find uh, to the sight of dancing white flakes. The first snow came much sooner than anyone expected, and although it melts soon, the mood remains depressed. People shuffle through the mist, the falling snow muffling their voices and turning them pale like ghosts. Someone curses under their breath. This is the last thing we needed. Working in such cold is going to be a drag. This nasty surprise heralds an unnaturally early winter, but nobody feels like talking about that. Motivation will fall even more each morning. We must endure. Oh my days. I can't handle it. The motivation crisis right now. We gotta get that class segregation done ASAP. 14 hours left to go. So pretty much as soon as we get all these things, all the wood up. I, I gotta do it. Blow that whistle. Overseer sacked. Sir, workers seized an overseer who was admonishing them for smoking on the job. Put him in a sack and carted him out of the premises in a wheelbarrow. Overseers demand consequences. This is an intolerable slight to our authority, seized the engineer. I can't carry out my duties if I'm not sure of your support, sir. And good riddance, a worker shouts. We don't need slave drivers. I can let it slide or punish the workers. Strike risk will rise. Oh, I can't have that. That means strike risk could be like three or four, so there's no way. Take the motivation. Continuous motivation hits. So they're on level 3. That's okay, though. That's not open. I wouldn't worry about that. This one's on level 1. That's not so bad. 
So nothing to do with the safety level though, so I can't increase safety and help them out. I'm gonna leave it as harmful, as harsh as that may sound, just because, um... Well, just because I think we can handle the amount of sick that will come out of this, but I just worry now, I'm just second-guessing myself, because... Does this mean... I need to zoom out and zoom back in. Uh, does this mean that... No. Okay, never mind. I won't even say it. Don't don't worry about it. It's just me being stupid. I feel betrayed. This will encourage workers to attack us. Says Tim Taylor. A sad day for the rule of law in our community. Thirteen hours to go. All right, Forge's unit number four reached, uh, returned to the city safely. Nice, we got our steam cores back, we got some extra food, and some steel composite, composites. So, how much do we need, actually, steel composites going forward? We need 25. Oh my god, we've already got 15. That's great, and we haven't even built the building. That's pretty good. So we need 10 more. Uh, right, we'll send these guys out to workers' camp. Site, 16 hours to arrive. Okay, I'll just go straight that way. I don't know how they cross that, uh, that well, I guess they use rafts or something, water. I really want to build the reloading stations and everything, but I just don't yet have the... Uh, we need to get the houses done first. So let's get one done now. Get them started. Triple speed. Hopefully I haven't made any of the mistakes. This is 80% of the way done. Please just finish today. No strikes involved. And then we can hop them right over to the other one then straight away. Should we wish. I wonder what's more efficient. Well, we've got safety procedures and the, the earlier conditions on, actually, or earlier shift. I was going to say, I wonder, is it like better? Well, anyway, it doesn't really matter, but if it's better to turn this off and have the shift lower or have the shift higher, but turn this on, you know, what what's worse? Is, is this equivalent to 25%, I guess? I guess you could just work out the hours, right? So it's 10 hours that they'd work. Whereas this reduces things by 25%, so you're only shaving two hours off that work. So it's obviously not as bad. It's 20% rather than 25. Okay, I solved it. Quick maths. Very, not quick at all, obviously, but um, <laughs> I did it. Hopefully I'm not wrong as well. Alright, so this is almost done. Oh my god, wood just exploded. Alright, cool. Let me get the other one done. And then, yeah, let's get cracking on reloading stations. Steam reloading station right there, please. Uh, a steam reloading station here. And then we're down to one core for the foundry. We've got another core here then as well. Good. Get buildings. Eight hours to go on that, so we should be fine. Penal colony, zero tolerance, sir. The, the head overseer is here to discuss with you the expansion of the penal indus industrial cooperation Look, workers love nothing more than to stir trouble. We sh we could arrest the most rebellious ones for slacking off or minor theft or whatever and move them to the penal colonies. There they'll work more and eat less. And think how it'll motivate the rest of to behave. Deal? You insidious motherfuckers. <laughs> You'll have two days to pass the roundups. Oh my god. No, 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 no. That's too much. I'm not ready to cross this line. How is that lowering motivation? That should raise motivation. If they knew that I wasn't going to do that, they'd be happy. I'm not crossing that line. Can't just be rounding up innocence. That's not right. We've got 58 people not doing anything right now. Oh, it's because they just finished. Sweet. What time is it? They still got time. They can get to work. So I want you to... Is that side done? That's done. Turn this on. Get 30 people on it. Alright. Work is continuing. Alright, the difference engine has been researched. So, we could go with foundry next, or go with the food. I want to go with the food. How long is it going to take? 15 hours. Then we mainline the foundry. I think I'm doing this right, because if you think about it, we have to get the foundry, and then before we even build one composite, hopefully, we can get the innovation process to lower that. It's all about whether or not the time it takes to finish this is a day and 23 hours. That's great, because the time it takes to get this next research is only 15. 
So in theory, we'll get it done and get the foundry even done in time to start operating that foundry, you know, as soon as uh, we move off the main thing, uh, the, the support frames. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. So food, advanced fishing harbor. It costs 40 wood and 10 steel to build, but we're building it on top of something, so we'll get some of the resources back. I actually didn't see how much better it is, but it said it's better. I don't even need to look. I'm sure it's. I'm sure it is better. <laughs> All right, there's two steam reloading stations are up and running now. That's going to increase the rate at which we bring in steel, increase the rate at which we bring in wood. Love to see it. Only one person sick. One person homeless, but their house has been finished right now. Engineers have all moved into here. Der Schnuffel, Bjorn Schmidt, Bo Diddley, Johnny O'Reilly, Juliet Sheffield, Merrill Rowley. Juliet Sheffield seems like a name I haven't updated yet. And same with Merrill Rowley. Elias Figgin and Arthur Ogg living right in there next to the church between the bathhouse. Luxury style housing for them. Engineers' lodgings have been built. The motivation rises. Not that much, but I'm happy enough. Happy enough to see it. Engineers here have significantly higher motivation. That's good, though, so it, maybe it'll just, you know, help ease off that drop-off uh, as well with the new chapel, so... It's all progress, I think, in the right direction. Seven hours to go until our scouting team makes it to the Site 102, or at least the worker camp, I think it was called. And this is four per hour. This is consuming 7.8 per hour, so we need more people on this now. Let's go up to seven, maybe. See how that handle, handles it. Is this done yet? Almost. Alright, that's the workday done. We got 2% done today for the second support frame. We're ahead of schedule, though. Uh, one hour. That's basically not ahead of schedule, then. <laughs> but I think when you build a foundry, it'll just, like, jump us up quite a bit, just even building it. So that shouldn't be too bad. So what's the situation? Food is maxing out, as is coal. Of course, we're still gathering coal slowly over time. And we'll want to get the, the next thing after this research, after the foundry, and then after the um, cheaper components, then I'm going to go with the charcoal kiln and start burning all this wood. So my, my goal is to start storing wood en masse, if we can. It's a problem. The beginning of the end. Change of plan, sir. A telegram for London. We're going to be cut off. The frost is coming sooner than expected. Royal Meteorolo Meteorological Society... Sorry. Let me start again. Royal Meteorological Society warns that the sea will freeze in 12 days, stopping all navigation and fishing. We will cease all shipments in 10 days. Start stockpiling materials and food. The evacuation by an icebreaker is planned in 18 days. It is imperative that you complete the generator by then. Good luck. <laughs> oh my god. All right, I'm just going to write this down because I don't know if it ever actually reminds you. So, the, f the sea freezes in 12 days. They stop sending shipments in 10 days. And they evacuate in 18 days. Oh my god. All right. 12 days. Oh, it actually says it right there. So... Day 27 plus 12. 39, is it? So day 39, we can expect the freeze. Day 37, we can't order more people or more shipments. And a shipment will stop if it's on the way, I think. And then day 18 is when we get the hell out of here. All right. The end is in sight. I'm behind schedule now, though. That'd be a terrifying message to get. You think everyone would be going mental at that? Toxic gases are at their max. At least tomorrow it's going to calm down a bit when we get people back in there. And uh, we can maybe turn on the ventilation shaft, I think, tomorrow. Ventilation plant. Start burning some of that coal and making the place a bit safer. Okay, 13 people not doing anything. So this is about to be done tomorrow, 11 steel. We'll wait till it's done, then we'll dismantle it. Uh, some people asked in a previous episode, I know it's quite late into the series and late into this episode even to describe it, but um, you don't need to connect the docks by road. People are asking about that. Uh, so it doesn't matter, they just, they just walk out there anyway. But every other building in the game does. Otherwise they don't even operate, so... 
Preparing for the cold, the beginning of the end. Sir, the coming of co the coming cold threw everyone off guard. If the forecasts are true, it'll make finishing construction that much more difficult. Crew working on technology starting to started thinking about ways we could at least somewhat mitigate the coming cold. If you want to, some ideas could be developed into solutions per your request. Show me, or I see it, show me. <laughs> All right, we have a heat tab now. Braziers, heaters, healthcare insulation, efficient burners. Not, not now. We'll have a look at that later. We've got a job to do, and then we'll invest into it. We can't miss a deadline, otherwise it's a failure. We're a failure if that happens. All right, we've reached the workers' camp. Dozens of workers eye us suspiciously as we approach. They're a pitiful sight, starving and dressed up in rags which don't cover their injuries. Oh, no. Runaway workers. The workers tell us about Site 120 where they toiled in inhuman, inhumane conditions under their slave-driving boss until they had enough and ran away one night. They beg us not to betray them if we visit their site. They starved, and about half of them are sick. They won't survive alone in the wilderness. Huh. Tell them to stay put, leave them? You could tell them to stay put and then go to the collapse mine and maybe find site 102 or 120. We'll send them home. We'll bring them, we'll bring them with us. We could use the 50 people. Could we, though? <laughs> can I feed this many people? I think I can. Let's bring them back. Alright. Turn on that ventilation plant for tomorrow. We don't need any more profiles, according to the, uh... According to the thing. Yeah, no more profiles are needed. Profiles will just help with safety now, I guess. If we make any. And what is it, like four of them? We only need four. Oh, man. At least we don't have many sick. We've got potential to house 20 sick people. Well, yeah, we still haven't actually technically done that. Found site 120. Gotta make sure we get that done. We can run another evening service tonight. At least motivation has come up quite a bit. Although this is going to wear off and it'll fall down dramatically. Is there anything I needed to build tonight? Oh, you know what? More houses for these new people arriving. So let's just connect a road here. Once that road is done, I'll remove that one. Otherwise, it would disconnect the houses. Okay. So then we'll remove this one. And then place... So there's 50 people arriving. There's 8 per household, but I know that I've got about 7 like free space at the moment. So maybe... 4? Let's try that. Alright. Hopefully that'll do it. That's just an anticipation of these guys. They're actually here in two hours. Wow, that is quick. There goes the motivation. At least we can kind of keep it going for a while, but as soon as this runs out, I think it's going to collapse. It's so brutal, man. <laughs> like, I thought maybe we'd be one, one time maybe get to push up to here, but not at all. I was like, why am I surprised, though, you know? <laughs> I feel like it's like, oh, I feel like I'm doing well, and then it's just like, Jesus. Farge is returned. You can disband them at their quarters, send them back out. We'll send them back out immediately. 25 sick people, 50 hungry. Oh, man, that's a big... They didn't tell me that. And then 44 housing needed. Well, head back out. So, it would take 8 hours to get to there. And then it would take... So it's 22 hours. So here's a way of testing it. We'll go here first. Eight. This would have been 22. Let's see if it'll be eight. And then like another eight. And see if that'll be quicker. It's not a straight line though. So maybe... Or maybe it would be better to go to the nesting place first. Can I do that? That's eight hours to arrive. The nesting place looks maybe like it's closer. Maybe. I don't know. Let's do that anyway. It would have been 22 if we went direct there. So we'll see if this cuts down the travel time. 
Uh, so, what we're gonna have to do is take a couple of engineers off of this, open up the other medical bays, assign one to each, and hopefully we can just at least stock everyone. Put everyone in these things for a while. And I might even reduce down the tech rate to get them healed faster. There is a way, I think, of speeding up their recovery in the tech trees, or in the uh, law screen, so I'll just have a look at that in a moment. So it'll be 11 sick people not being treated. Yeah, a lot of them are going to treatment and going to eat. It's gonna be a while. I wonder can they last 11, 12 hours before becoming gravely ill? Oh shit, the motivation's gone. I have to, I have to enable this. I don't know what else I can do. The slap. Sir, an overseer got in an argument with a worker during which the worker slapped him. The overseer demands exemplary, pun uh, exemplary punishment. It's not about my injury, which is mostly to my pride, says the engineer. This is about our authority as overseers. Without it, we can't serve the company. The worker is unrepentant. Treat others with respect or you'll get your ugly mug smashed. Issue a stern warning. Punish the worker. Stern warning. Oh my god, we're just about maintaining that motivation. That's insane, though. I don't know what I can do. <laughs> oh. I laugh, but I'm really in distress. Alright, well, progress has started on, again, up on the uh, support frame. Might have to give them the all the full day's work uh, shift as well. There goes any authority we had. We can't even point out things that are wrong. Mark Bitter and Ibusi Tanis. Engineer is not happy with uh, the fact that I've let those others do the thing. There's no gatherable resources. Are you having a laugh? Get on that immediately. So those 50 people, we can put to work, right? Um, so I'm just trying to think. Where do we need to be assigning these guys? A lot of them are going to be sick, though. How many sick? 31. Okay. We've got a lot of people not doing stuff, so... Uh, let's figure this out. We didn't get any engineers, rather unfortunately. I suppose just pile up resources if you can. Anyone else can work on these yet? No. We'll save them for building, I guess, but there's nothing to build yet. Is there anything I've been putting off? Ah, actually, we could get some resource depots down. We're gonna need them. Yeah, I don't want to work these buildings, even though we're gonna have to. Not yet. Tomorrow we will, when the gas lowers. The ventilation plant is on and still unhealthy here. 12 homeless, so we, so we do need another house then, actually. Well, we need another two, if that's the case. Right next to the whore house. Sorry, public house, excuse me. I think we're probably going to need another bathhouse later on as well. Alright, let's we'll speed up time. Let them get to work. Hopefully get healing. Uh, laws are just about ready to go. Ugh. Right, so let's have a look. Is there a way I can heal people a bit quicker? Sustain life. Company funerals. Uh, no. I thought for sure there was a way you could... Motivation will rise passing this, which is nice. Oh, there it is. Extra rations for the ill. Yeah, we'll pass sustain life, and then hopefully we'll get that extra rations for the ill. We can't cure the gravely ill, but we can at least keep them alive. We won't risk dangerous amputations with radical treatment. So the downside of this is obviously that if they do become amputees, or, or if they do have something wrong with them, we're not gonna... We're just gonna put them on, like, palliative care, I think, which means that they're never gonna work again. Whereas with radical treatment, they might, although they might die. But that's the way we're going. Keep them happy. 17 hour, 18 hours of pass it of the law, and hopefully we can speed up uh, sickness treatment, although it's probably a bit too late by then. Why take up all the beds with these goners? Oh, Jesus. I suppose that's better than letting them die. Wow, man. It's their friends and family here, or at least co-workers. Jeez. It's a bit harsh. Are we behind schedule still? We are, but hopefully after the fishing harbor is done, we'll build that foundry, and that should be beef us up, speed us up for how far behind schedule we are. I think that'll move us forward quite a bit. 
It doesn't seem to change with percentage of what you've done. Oh, no, it does. Okay, good. So this is done. Get off that. Get rid of the building. Get your steam core back. We'll have one for the foundry. We've got more room for even more... What should we get? Iron or cut wood? This is a steam reloading station. That's a steam. So they both have one each. And I know that I can turn wood into coal. So it makes me think that we should go with the wood one. Because we're going to need coal for the steam composites. So I think, I think that's what I'll do. Three hundred wood now. Food is still good as well. And now we have the advanced fishing fi <laughs> fishing harbor. There we go. Let's get our next tech before we um, build anything. Foundry. There we go. Get to work. How long is that going to take? Thirteen hours. Okay, not that bad. Now. Not going to make the mistake of building this now. We'll wait for the workday to end, then we'll build it tonight. Because they go offline if you were to build it now. So that's a good... I think that's a good thing to do. Alright, we've reached the nesting place. So that was 8 hours. And this is now 10 hours. So it was 18. We saved 4 hours. Thank you guys very much. If I had only known that in the beginning. <laughs> uh, we'll assign these later. Two extra resource depots. There is a technology to build that... Uh, make a bigger one, but... I think it's fine. Hopefully I haven't eaten up a lot of space we need or anything for the generator. Everyone okay? Strike risk is nominal. It's to level 2. Oh, the ventilation plant's gone off. That's why. There we go. Back down to 1. There we go. It's on a... It turns off on the early shift. We want to keep it on all day. This actually isn't... Why isn't it doing anything? Oh yeah, we can make more engineers. That's awfully tempting. Improves the safety of up to three with full staff inspectors of the lowest base safety level. Yeah, this should be speeding this up, but it's not. Or um, helping it. The factory inspector. It did it for everything else, including core components. Maybe it's only for the the outer buildings? I didn't think so. Up to three workplaces with the lowest base safety level. Yeah, I thought it would be giving us one from th for this. I don't know if it's bugged or something. It's certainly with... The others are all closed, so that makes sense. Like, if I turn this on, let's see what happens. Just even for a second. So that does activate. So it's definitely got people in it, and it's working. Very weird. I feel like that's not the way it's supposed to be. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm misremembering, but I'm pretty sure when we were building the shaft or whatever we had, it appeared here. But maybe the support structures just for whatever reason don't. Mm. I think tomorrow we're gonna go into a negative 30 uh, hit and we can't do anything about that. All right, the advanced fishing harbors are going in there. We have 600 food stored right now, so that's only about... That's that's barely even two days worth of food. And we're going to have to save enough for six days worth of food. If we maintain about 300 people... Uh, how much is that? 3,500? 3, Seems like a lot. Oh, it's less than that. But it's not that not, not that much less. It's at least two grand, two thousand. Okay. Uh, this is done as well, actually. Let's get rid of that. Sawmill is finished. I think, generally speaking, though, even though it, things seem dire all the time, it, things are actually going pretty well. I guess we'll let the day tick over and then we'll see what happens, and we'll probably have to leave it there. As long as we just. Yeah, gas is... So things are going to get better tomorrow, at least. Gas is coming down. Temperature isn't changing for a while. It's not so cold that anyone's really affected. So that's okay. And we're just a few hours away from Site 120 to complete that other thing. So maybe we'll get a boost of motivation? Maybe. Evening service and the overseer thing is maxed out. I could give people hearty meals, but I'm not going to do that. It's insane at this point. 
Infrastructure wise, though, I'm pretty happy. I should have checked actually what. It'll produce one raw food. Yeah, but how often? I'll have to see that tomorrow. I think it's a good idea with the food, anyway. Uh, but we certainly are going to have to start stepping up our game for production. Because this stage is going to require 50 of these. And I don't know how many we have. 14, so we need a lot more. 36. Uh, that is a lot. And then 20 more steel composites. At least it's 25 and then 10. So as we're building the core, we'll have to have people in the machine shop doing their thing. At least we're getting through the sick people now. There's 16 people not being treated. Uh, yeah, let's just turn this back down to 5. I think that's the minimum for it to even do anything. Uh, let's turn this back up. Get some, get these open again. Because this isn't operating. Why? Going to eat. Okay. Alright, we're at the collapsed mine. It's a coal mine, but it's been evacuated after a collapse. Ah, oh, damn. No coal, though. Site 120. Ten hours to arrive. I need people on this instead. We need to open them just to at least house the sick. So how long do you have left until you're getting through people? Seven, four, six, five? So about four people by the, by the morning. That's good. Yeah, I think, we, I think we've probably taken care of everyone where they're not going to become gravely anyway. Gravely ill. Alright, man. I think that's going to be it for today. Um, we'll leave it there. Actually, we'll just wait until maybe just about the morning time. 7 a.m. Not when work starts, but morning time. See what happens for the day to tick over properly. Taking that motivation hit does not feel good. New law could be passed. Actually, let's do that now. Extra rations for the ill. Sign it. New ability, use extra rations in medical facilities to speed up recovery. We can feed sick people extra rations to speed up their recovery. The other option is overcrowding. Our medical facilities should be fully utilized, even if we have to put patients on the floor. Jesus. I'm not even going to read it. Company funerals in a care house. Let's go. Extra rations for the ill. New low. There it is. Ten food. Oh, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. For a day. And they'll speed up recovery. So it's going from 4, 3, 1, and 8. Let's see how much it changes. So an hour, shaved an hour off, which I think is about 20%, maybe maybe a bit less, maybe 10% based on... Sometimes they come in and it says like only 8 hours, but sometimes they come in and it's like 16, so I'm not really too sure. Obviously the uh, infirmary goes quicker as well, so once we get this number down to uh, just 10, we can turn off, or about... Yeah, about that. We can turn off the other medical posts and make sure they're all in the one. Whatever gets them well faster, we need them. Man, can I get some more food too? Look how pale I am. That's so true. That's what people would do. They're like, <laughs> I'm sick. I'm trying to get those extra rations. That's pretty funny. All right. I got to leave it there. As much as I want to just keep going, but we'll have to leave it until the next episode. So things are progressing. We have fallen 12 hours behind schedule now. However, I am confident that building that factory and getting this done means that we'll be ready. Uh, we'll be pretty much ready to get that core built and then get this done on time. This has to be done by day 35. We have five days. I think, I think we're okay. But I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right. That's going to be it for me. Thank you guys, as usual, for very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you want to support this series directly, you can click the Join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. If you don't see the Join button, it means the video has been copyright claimed, but you can still join from the channel page on desktop. You can also link your account to our Discord to get a special role on there that will give you access to the Senate House and a few other perks.